Okay. How's it going, everybody? So, if you can see here, we've got a bunch of Tops Update hanger boxes. I got 10 of them. This is going to be a fun little rip. <clears throat> I just got these in the mail. I had to open my mail off camera. I only got two things. So, this box that came that had all 10 hangers. I thought there was supposed to be 11. There was a misunderstanding during our deal. And then I also got this Ryan Mountcastle from a guy in my sports card Facebook group. I paid 50 bucks for this card, which, you know, 50 shipped. So probably about 45 plus the $5 shipping. Uh, it is just like the Ian Anderson card that we hit out of these exact hangers we're about to open. It is a rookie patch auto from Topps Update and it's numbered out of 50. Ryan Mountcastle and Bobby Dahlbeck are my two favorite rookies from this class. I do like Jonathan India a lot also um, but I'm mostly a power hitter guy. Like I like guys who smash 30 plus homers a year. If you can't tell, that's pretty much all the guys I collect. So I'm a big power hitting guy. Um, so we have all these hangers. There's not enough room to keep these on the screen the whole time. So I'm going to just slide them off to the side so we have some room. We can see the background cards. And we'll just start plowing through these. So I'm going to try to go quickly because we've opened these so many times that... I just, you know, getting that Ian Anderson out of 50 was a good hit. Picking up that Mount Castle. Uh, hitting the Jonathan India <clears throat> and Alec Baum orange ice cards were decent, but those were rookie debut cards. We're looking for the bangers. That's what we're looking for. I'm not opening this for base rookie cards. We're looking for big time numbered parallels autos we're just gonna turn and burn the way we normally do but we're gonna go fast just if we see anything crazy we'll stop i'll organize all this afterwards when i have more time but again thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys being here this is gonna be some fun and if you guys want to see those flux basketball hangers be opened there's a trevor larniac uh hit me up in the comments let me know if anybody wants those hit me up i kind of got those in a deal so i wasn't really expecting to open them but there's a kirilov uh i will i will open them if people want to see it or if somebody wants to pick them up they're just expensive man they're selling at my local walmart they're 35 dollars each which is insane. Some people um, that I've talked to on Facebook say their stores and targets were only charging 30 But, you know, still, for a blaster box that has three pack or uh, six packs with three cards in each pack, now you can hit numbered cards in every three boxes and autos in every five boxes, which gives it really good odds. But, okay, here we go. Middle stack, guys. Keegan Thompson... We're hoping for a bunch of numbered parallels. And right in our first box, we do have a backwards card. Mariners. Oh, why couldn't it be Kellenic? Oh, that was our chance. Out of 299, Chris Flexen. Orange Ice. Orange Ice Parallel in the first hanger. I'll take it. We got an Eddie Murray. Platinum Players. Larry Walker. And then Ha Sung Kim, Patino, Andrew Vaughn, Akil Badu. A couple really good rookies there at the back. Okay. Hanger one. See if we can get something good, guys. That's what we're hoping for here. Hangers have bangers. 
Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Let's hope. Let's pray. I would love to get me a parallel of Kellenic. We'll see what happens. So I've got my Kellenic base rookie. That's the one you want to. There's a Mount Castle. Scooble. There's a Jonathan India base. So far, getting really good base rookies. But we have so many of those. I just saw a Pache and a Carlson debuts. Let's keep this flowing here. I'd love to get a uh, couple of short prints if possible. We haven't really hit many short prints. I think the only short print in update I've hit was the Bo Jackson. I hit a... or something. I can't remember. Was it Bo? Another Kirilov debut. Trying to at least flip these cards upside the right way, and I'll organize them later, but... Tyler Stevenson debut. Okay. Middle stack, second box. Oh, I see a rainbow foil. A lot of the time when you get a rainbow foil, that's what you get, but... Freddie Jervis. Matt Strom. Pirates. Will Craig. That's a rookie. Gold card. Will Craig. Gold. Very nice. Now we did have those five hangers, guys, that were just loaded, if you guys remember. Hey, we got a Joey Gerber. Rainbow Foil Rookie also. It's kind of got a bum corner, though. All right. Bryce Harper, Joey Bart, Jazz Chisholm, and a Bobby Dahlbeck. Very nice. And a Keegan Thompson Rookie. Hanger numero tres. see if we can start stepping it up here now these hangers have a gold card one and three so and they cost ten dollars so if you think about it your odds of pulling parallels are way higher in hangers than any other product on the market um, and that's I'm just strictly speaking from experience man I've opened tons of hobby Throughout the years, I've opened all kinds of stuff. I've always had best lucks, no matter the product, with the hanger boxes. I think when you get a fat stack of cards like this, instead of a bunch of uh, different packs with the pack odds and all that, I think you're just sitting right. So, let's see if we can fly through these. Hangers are bangers. Just remember that. There's an Ian Anderson. I really shouldn't have sold that card. But. Is that Tejeda? I think. I skipped over him. Oh, that was Adelise Garcia. I've been buying more and more cards, but. There's a Kirloff again. Debut. But. I've gotten three of him in three boxes. All right, middle stack, third box, debut of Jonathan India. I cut this one a little high, so we got a few cards. Andrew Vaughn and Kaya Tom. Trevor Larniak, come on, middle stack, come on. Let's stay hot. Right now, we are two for two on numbered parallels. J.B. Bukowskis. Oh, we got another one. Out of 99. Vintage stock. Jock Peterson. Let's 
three for three. See what I'm talking about? Three for three. Jock Peterson. Vintage stock. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Then we got a rainbow foil of Jonathan. Oh, that's a cool one. Throwback to the 2001 Tops. Nick Magical. I haven't seen those before. It's first. Albert Pujols style. Joey Bart and Jazz Chisholm again. Same inserts. We got a Kiebert Ruiz. Okay, so first coming out the gates swinging. Not too bad. We got three numbered cards in the first three boxes. I will take that any day of the week. Box number four. So basically you're playing the odds. The odds of getting a top rookie in that parallel are not great because there's so many cards in the set and when you hit a parallel you can hit the parallel of anybody it could be a team card uh it could be an insert it could be anything you know so you're really playing the odds are long but when you buy the hangers at least i feel like your chances are much much better to get something good because you're going to get more numbered parallels out of the hangers than you are any other product so Let's fly through these. I'm going to go way, way faster this time. I think I'm going to start a new pile where I don't flip them. I'm just going to shout out the notables. I saw Ha Sung Kim. Now they're all going to be upside down. <laughs> this is how it goes, guys. This is why it's so frustrating. There's a Sicto Sanchez. Bobby Dahlbeck. Once you see these cards a thousand times, I really like this Acuna and Jazz card. That's a cool one. Jorge Mateo, Joe Adele debut. All right. Middle stack. Here we go. Fourth box. Nothing in this one. Not so lucky. Luis Gonzalez. We got a Willie Adamas rainbow foil. All-star game of Xander. Manny Machado. Hung Jin Ryu. Hey, at least we got another uh, Andrew Vaughn base. Kaya Tom. Trevor Larniak. All right, so finally hit a box that didn't have a parallel. That's how it goes. So get into the next one here. You just never know, guys. You never, never know. You just got to roll with the punches. Some are going to have hits, some are not. That's how it goes. Every box can't be loaded, otherwise... Just wouldn't make sense, would it? So we'll break, break, and get to flipping here. Ty France, Kenta Maeda. I always think this card is the India. Very similar pose. Everything's flipping again here. Kyle Finnegan. Another Kirilov. Man, not a lot of good rookies in this one. For sure. That was kind of a bland. All right, middle stack. Here we go. Matt Strom. Drew Smiley. David Hall. Oh, we did get a backwards card.
Daniel Ponce de Leon. Man, can't I just please hit a gold Kellenic? I will never open update again. We got a Ryan McKenna rainbow foil. We got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Sr. I mean, Vlad Sr., not Jr. Sr. There's a Kellenic throwback. Okay. All these here. Bada boom. Okay, guys. Five boxes left. We are halfway through. But I will tell you what, hitting four numbered parallels in five boxes, that's how it was before. But last time we were getting, man, we got autos, relics. I haven't seen any thick cards. I've been looking at the side every time before I break it, so I'm always looking for those thickies. But I would much rather have numbered parallels than a like a manufactured relic. The relics we've hit recently though have not been manufactured they've all been game used stuff so not too bad Luis Patino, Andrew Vaughn, Akil Badu so we got good rookies in this box Joe Adele debut Brady Singer. All right. Middle stack. Here we go. Jock Peterson. Uh, just a rainbow, I think. Unless. Ooh. Atlanta Braves. Bryce Wilson. Another gold card, though. You see, guys, what I'm talking about? For 10 bucks a box. I paid $100 for 10 boxes. If I were to spend $100 on a hobby box, I'm getting maybe one gold card. And they're like, oh, well, you can hit different stuff in hobby that are bigger. I get it, but in my experience, guys, these are the way to go. Got another Khalil Lee rookie rainbow foil. Oh, that's a cool one. Kirby Puckett. With the Topps Heritage. 70 years of Topps. That's a cool one. Randy Rosarena. Joey Bart. Look at our insert pile. I mean, man, so many inserts too, which you don't get many of in hobby. Four boxes left. I think I've got this down though on how to get the, through these quickly. This probably will be the last time, guys, I open update. I mean, when I see the hangers, it's hard for me not to get them. Because it's like I know that when we open these, we're getting damn near a numbered parallel in every box for 10 bucks. And I'm like, man, if I could just hit a Kellenic or an India numbered out of 50 or something, like a Mother's Day Taylor Trammell. That's a good one. I mean, you hit a Mother's Day... Of one of those guys, that's a monster card, dude. A monster card. And yes, the amount of money that I've spent on update, I probably could have just bought like three of those by now. But I've also made back most of my money. When I break these boxes like this, I do make back about 10 bucks a box, I would say. So I break even on a lot of them. Uh, some of the better ones, though, I hold on to. You know, if I hit a good, like... That Tyler Walls, like, he's not that good right now. I'm not going to sell that card. He doesn't have a lot of hype, but I will hold on to it just in case he does have a good run. You know what I mean? If he has a good run, and I notice it hikes up a little bit, he's never going to be a Juan Soto, but somebody might collect him. So, you just got to play it right. Middle stack here, guys. Cool one. No parallel in this box, but we did get 
a Taylor Trammell. 70 years of tops card. Those are cool cards, man. They're always in different uh, uniforms and stuff. I've got a few of the rookies that I collect. Key Brian Hayes. Gregory Santos. Honeywell. All right. Last three, guys. Come on. Time to get hot. Looking to hit the heat. No thicky. All right, guys. We're almost there. We are almost there. Get these going the right way. Another Taylor Trammell. Key Brian Hayes. Man, I'm telling you, I saw those guys that were breaking. There's another Dahlbeck. Um on one of these YouTube channels, they just like hit an Otani big head SSP out of a blaster. It's like, man, I just want to hit something good like that. You know, just one solid one. Like I thought I was going to stop when I had that five boxes where we just got hot and took fire hitting the auto, the India, the bomb, like you can get hot like that. If you hit a hot row of boxes, middle stack, here we go. Another stunk stinker box. It's just a rainbow foil. Not good. So we're kind of bottoming out here on these. So we got our last two. Can we get lit? That's what we're looking for, guys. We're looking to catch fire. Fire in the bottle. We've seen enough of the rookies and stuff I'm gonna just break right here and I'll go through these after we'll just do the middle stack okay Joey Gerber come on we got two chances here oh Mariners this could be it ah ah Luis, Luis Torrens, Luis Torrens, out of 2021 gold. Man, I, th I was just vibing off of that, man. I was like, here it is. This is my moment. I'm going to hit it right now. Killing it gold. And we don't want that damn debut. We want the good one. Last box. Last chance. 10 seconds left in the game. Receivers run into the end zone. We're throwing a Hail Mary. No thick card. So we're not getting a rookie patch auto today, guys. That did happen, but we are not getting one today. All right, last chance. We'll break this. Break this. Stack all of these base up. Last middle stack. Ian Anderson. Bring us the luck, Ian. Come on. Last pack magic. Redux. 
and a Christian Yelich black gold. Ah. Not numbered. Well, we had a good run, guys. It was fun while it lasted. We had a good time. Just flip through these. I saw the pool host. Normally there's a Kellenek right before that. No. Mount Castle was before the pool host. There's the India. Yeah, I was going to say, we didn't get a lot of Jonathan India, and we didn't get a lot of Kellenick for opening 10 hanger boxes. Another Tyler Walls. We did hit the pink Mother's Day of him. Tyler Stevenson. Well, you got to risk it for the biscuit, as I always say. You can't win if you don't play. And that's how you got to get it. Your mean Mercedes. Now you can have a row of bad boxes too. Where we opened, I believe, 10 or 11 one time. Just like this. And we just flopped a lot. Like, like barely got anything. So you can have rows of hot, hot boxes and then some where they're not so we still have the two giveaways going on you guys tell me what you think if you want to see me open those flux blaster boxes i'm going to be with my son today so if you guys do want that put it in the comments below and we will rip those i've got three flux blaster boxes and I'm sure my son would be happy to open those. But if anybody wants them, hit me up. I didn't really care about opening them. But I will give them to you at retail cost. All you got to do is just pay for shipping. And they're yours. So, much love. Everybody stay safe out there. I think things are starting to get back to normal. We just got to get over this uh, new hump of problems. But... I will catch you guys in the next one. Rip some packs. Peace.